Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make and design complex tables using Elementor for free. So if you have a WordPress website with Elementor and you want to make tables, you can do it easily by watching this video. And the reason for making this video is my client demanded a table like this. And this wasn't possible using Elementor. Even I tried Elementor Pro. Let me show you. You can see that I'm using Elementor Pro. And then I tried another plugin which is Elements Kit. And I also tried its premium version but that didn't help. Then I tried some free plugins like Essential Addons which have the table element but that also didn't help. And at the end I discovered a simple free plugin which helped me and I was able to create a table like this. Now this is an image as you can see this is just an image. And this is the table that I have created. You can see the look is the same. And if I click this you can see that this is a table which is customizable. We can make changes to the text. And you can see that we have a title, a subtitle, then a full width row which we can control with call span and call row. And also this text is aligned to the left while these are aligned to the center. So we can customize this the way we want it. So let's see how we can make this type of complex table using Elementor. Now the first thing is you need a simple free plugin. So just go to your plugins in the dashboard, click add new and here search for table add-ons for Elementor. And you will see this plugin table add-ons for Elementor. This is by Iqbal Berry. Just install and activate this. And once you activate this plugin, you will be able to use this inside Elementor. Then you can add a new page or you can edit any page with Elementor. So I have opened this page with Elementor. You can see that. And let me show you how we can make and design the table. So for that, I'll make a section here. And inside Elements, I'll search for table. Now these tables are from another plugin. You will see a table like this simple table just drag this and this will give you a table like this you can see that this is the table header and this is the table data so if you want to make changes to this table header you can just click here and you can change the title like new header or something you want and if you want to make changes to the table data you can go to table body and here you can make changes to this like new data or something now obviously you can write any text you want you can also display icons images and so on let's close this and now let me show you some advanced settings so for that let's go to table header we will open the first one and this is the advanced settings so just enable this and here you can change these options like call span custom width alignment and decoration and by call span i mean you can increase the width of this and before that let's increase the number of columns so for that you can duplicate the header like this and then you can change the title or you can add a new one like this and same goes for these so you can go to table body you can duplicate these or you can add a new item and this is how you can increase the number of columns so let's go back to advanced settings we will open the first one let me explain what call span mean. So if I enable this, then I can write the number of these cells to which I want to extend this header. Let me show you if I write 3. You can see that it extends its width to the 3 cells. And we can add more cells if you want. So for that we can go back to table body and we can add more tables like this. So this was call span. And if you don't want to use this, you can just disable this and you can give this some custom width like I did here. So if I enable this, this is now 30%, I can increase and decrease this like this. So this is only for the first one, you can do the same for all of these. So let's say I want this to be 40% and let's go to table body and remove these. Now you can see that this is 40% wide. And this is the alignment so if you want you can align this text to center right or left so let's choose center now only this is aligned to center and the rest of these are aligned to left and then you can go to decoration and you can decorate this text like you can make this underline like this overline line through or none so these options are dependent on you that how you want it let's go to table body and we will open the first one and here you can change the data as I said and you can also use dynamic tags if you are using Elementor Pro 
but let's ignore this for now and you can also open up its advanced settings and you can choose the options like call span, row span, alignment and so on now if i close this and i want to increase the number of columns like this this will keep adding columns instead of rows so to make it rows you can just open this one which is this one and you can enable this new row now this is in the new row and we can add more cells like this and now we have 3 by 4 table so to start a new row you can just open a new tab and then you can enable this new row and there is one thing different so let me show you if i enable advanced settings here you can see row span this work the same as the column let's open this if i increase this to 3 you can see that it took 3 row space so this is how row span work let's disable this this is our table now and to make changes to the colors and styles you can go to style tab and here you can change the cell fading which is this spacing let me show you you can see that if i write one you this will have less spacing we can increase this like this and if you leave this empty this will have the default padding and this is the border type so by default we have some border if you want you can change it let me choose solid and the width will be one on all sides and i can give it a specific color like this or any color like these now you can see the pink borders and this is table header style so here you can style this header so you can choose the alignment for all if i align this to center you can see that all of the headers are in the center now and this is the text color so i can change the color here like this this is the typography where you can change its typography like the font family size weight transform and so on let me show you if i change this to something like four pins you can notice the change in the fonts and this is the background color so here you can change the header background like i did here so let's change it and now our header is in this color here you can style the body so you can align this text to center right or left and you can change the text color like this you can change its typography the background color like this and stripe background if you enable this you can choose a secondary color now one row will be in this color and one row will be in the secondary color like this so here you can make and design the table the way you want it now if you are wondering how i achieve this so for that you can just go to content and uh, here you can go to header for example and here you can write some html and this is only for if you want to have subtitles here let me show you if i write br in braces this is an html tag used for a line break like enter then i write something like new title you can see that in the new line we got this text here and if you want to customize this text only then you will have to use a little bit css like html and css so for that i'll put a span here we'll close the span and these are basically html tags and here we can style this so i'll write style equal to and here i can give it a css property like if i want to change the color so i'll write color colon white for example you can see this new title change its color I can also give it some font size so font size colon fill pixel for example and you can notice the font size decreased I can also give it font weight like 300 now this is not bolded and let's change this to subtitle so this is how you can write a subtitle and then you can style their subtitle based on your need and now you can copy this whole span and you can go to the second header you can paste it here and you can see subtitle is here so for that you will have to add a break so br and we can copy this to all headers and then obviously you can change the text here 
So this is how you can make and design a complex table using Elementor. Obviously you can design this based on your need like I did here and that's it. This is how you can design a complex table using Elementor for free. And if you want to learn more about Elementor and Wolfis, you can just follow my channel and I have lots of videos about Elementor and its add-ons. And I also reply to your comments so if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.